Hey there everyone, it's BTM to be back here again with Horizon 4 Festival on. So, a brand new festival playlist for this week and for the month. Um, to get things started, we'll just quickly have a look at the playlist rewards. So this is 50% for the month, we get a backstar backstage pass, not that great. And the Celine S1, a very nice car. It's a newer car. I don't know if it, no it's not a DLC car. But it, it is very new. I think it was only added in a few months ago. Um, then we've got the Mazda Cosmo, a, another new car that was added in not too long ago. And for this current week and season. And for the 80% complete, as you can see, the Maserati MC12. Very nice car. Photo op challenge. Any cult car at Mortimer Gardens. And then our weekly. Own and drive any retro supercar. Win three road racing series in our retro supercar. Earn three stars at the Roman Mile Speed Trap in our retro supercar, and then drive a total of 15 miles in our retro supercar, which I believe to be about 24 kilometers. My dailies are just earn three Ultimate Nemo skills. That's it. Um, we've got this is a new car as well that was added in not too long ago as our co-op event. Um, our uh, team vs PVE event. Uh, we've got our speed trap, our speed zone, and our super jump. The standard PR events. Um, not too great of rewards for these, but the Ferrari is quite nice. It's of the shape that I quite enjoyed um, with the F430 and stuff. And then, obviously, new monthly rivals and a new online adventure series. Let's claim my rewards from last season. Aston Martin 177, that's a nice reward. And a Ferrari 288 GDO, that's another nice reward. Let me get even in with another nice reward, and our final one is the Bugatti T35C. All very nice rewards for the vehicles this time around, instead of being crap. Welcome back, Braden. All right, let's check our store. A very nice car to have. Let's find a retro supercar to pull out. I believe my Bugatti is one. Uh, my Bugatti EB110 Supersport. I've probably passed it, haven't I? Yes, I have. Retro, retro. Retro sports, retro saloons, retro supercar. Yes, there it is. There she is. Lovely. Even the Enzo and the 360 Challenge Stradale is up there. Nice. But to get shit done faster, we're going to use our Bugatti. Now this, and this will be good for the um, Speed Trap 2. Now this baby has the Veyron engine in it, the Super Sport Bayron engine in, so before we get going, streamer mode. Huzzah, I remembered. Oh no, gifted money. Alright, three road racing series. And one ultimate Nemus. Nothing I could have done about that was airborne. stuff done. Where is our speed trap? Speed zone. 
Super jump. And our speed trap is there. The Roman mile. That's not that one. Greendale. Princess Street. Carlton Hill. I've already checked that. And check that. Aerodrome. Kuma, pick more, Moorhead Wind Farm, Hythe, Hythe House, Coltswood, The Grange. Come on, where's the Roman Mile? Cat Bells. Bulls, come on, North Bridge. Hmm. Uh, the Roman Mile. Three stars, 360 kilometers an hour. Alright, I know where that is now. Uh, needs to be a road racing series event. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, she should easily do the Roman Mile. Because it's pretty much at the three star speed right there. I forget what this car has originally in it. I think it might be. It could be a V8, but it's probably a V6. Or V10 even. I'll have to see. But I won't. Because <laughs> I won't be bothered. I could just Google it, I guess. One more to go, and then we need to do the distance, I think, or the speed trap. I think the speed trap, and then the distance last.
there we go. Here's our three road racing series wins. Hopefully it counted. I should always probably check out the very first one to make sure. And it did good. Roman Mile Speed Trap is next. And we all know where that is because we just checked. And we need 362.1. Best spot to get at it is from this direction. This is a nice run. Uh, hopefully there's no cars in the way. You have arrived at your destination. Instantaneous death. Oh, I was right, 24.1 kilometers. All right, let's go. I don't know why I backed out of that. Let's do our motorway. Our motorway runs. It should be one run down and back. Maybe. She doesn't have the greatest of handling, being a older car, and carrying probably more weight in her than what she originally would with the engine, but although she would have weight reduction stuff. Listen to that rumble. Was pretty good at drifting just then. And I don't think I've got the most um, high down force set up on this car either. I think I opted to take a standard or sports bumper rather than a, I don't know, it's got the aero on the front but not on the back, unless that is the rear wing you can get in this car and not one of those standard um, Forza wings. Instantaneous death.
I better check to see if we got it or not. Nope. That is our Forza Thorn quickly done. Sweet, now let's take a photo of a cult car at Mortal Gardens. Gardens, if I remember, is up here. There we go. And switch to our forced car. Hmm. I could probably do that in the Shelby, to be honest. Maybe. speed do I need? I need 225 for the seasonal, but my personal best is 304, so if I can hit 305, I'll be happy. And it's very dependent, if you guys remember, on AI! <laughs> Horrible, horrid, ugly, crap AI. And it's summer, so it's as good a season as any to get it done. And look at all of those cars on the, on the radar. They spawn right over the crest. If I didn't clip that car, Turn left. I might have been able to do it. You have arrived at your destination. Oh. With that then, new personal best. Um, where's our jump? There's our jump. And then we'll do our rivals after this. <laughs> Once again, look at all the AI in the way. Oh, you fucking muppets. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> Go 
gods, they piss me off so much. The how stupid the AI is. Yeah. Alright, we're changing car. <laughs> and, oh yeah, I know what this one is. Actually, this might be the first time doing this one in the Hoonigan since I've had it um, bastardized and swapped out the engine. Ah, uh, what am I going? Hoonigan. I need to do a clean out. I've got too many duplicates. I keep saying I've got to do it, and I'd never do it because I'm lazy. Because it will just take ages. I leave it for far too long. No! Oh, that was going to be my new personal best. Because I think 202 is my personal best. And I was going over that just then. Yeah, two oh two five four. Yeah, no personal best. Alright, um, we've done our PR events, we've done our weekly, we've done our photo challenge, we've done our daily, so all that's left is the arrivals. Yes. Alright, let's do our arrivals. Aerodromi.
feels like the audio's gone bugged. Yeah, it has, but it's fine now. Was terrible. Doesn't even feel like it's a four wheel drive. Jeez, this thing is really weak and low on power. If it gets slowed down by little gates like that, when it's meant to be. heavy and shit, and have momentum to carry it through obstacles like that. Listening to this car, the way it sounds, it reminds me of one of the cars from Test Drive Unlimited 2. Man, I miss that game. That game was so good. It's the game that started all the Falls and Horizons. There we go. Happy with that. It's the granddaddy of like the open world RPG sort of car games. And then Mattel Madness as well. Those Mattel Madness games are great. Especially with the on PC with the Mattel Madness 2 with the Nitro Bus mod. <laughs> Buses that go that accelerate to like a thousand kilometers an hour, damn near instantly. Oh ridiculous. <laughs> Alright everyone, I believe that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, you guys know what to do. Follow button so you get notified when I go live next with whatever I go live next with. I'll also be exporting this to my YouTube channel, so if you guys are interested in checking that out, um, because I do upload clips and stuff to there, which I can't do to here, then you can follow the link to that in my underneath my um, live stream panel, as well as in the description of my past streams, videos, and likewise if you're on my YouTube, and you would like to find my Twitch so you can see the stuff I do live, then you can follow the little link in the description box, as well as a link in the channel banner. Um, yeah, if you guys check out my YouTube channel, and you like what you see, and um, it would mean a hell of a lot to me if you guys would subscribe. Uh, yeah, drop a comment on stuff you guys would like to see me do next, or things to think better with, or just to pop in and say hey, and I hope you're all having a great day or a great night, wherever in the world you are. Peace out everyone. Have a great one. Actually, while it's dry, I might attempt this. I shouldn't, but I noticed I wasn't first there. Damn it. That slowed me down so much. Also, though, I need to somehow, which is pure luck, to hit the ramp which allows it to have the air catching underneath the car. You have 
arrived at your destination. Come on, baby. Ah. I think I need a slightly angle to the right when I come off that. But I don't really want to put too much input in because it will jeopardize the um grip. You have arrived at your destination. I was going a bit slower there, I think. Yeah, a little tiny bit slower. That landing wasn't flat either. I'll give it one more try and then I'll end it. <laughs> ah! I could see they're going to happen, but I couldn't correct it. And trees there purposely to be a pain in the ass. Nope, it's doing it again. And I got bounced off Medea from a little twig tree. Great. I wish it would remember the trees I've smashed through. So then A smashed, gone. Damn it. You have arrived at your destination. Well that didn't turn out half bad to be honest, and I pulled back. Yeah, nah. Yeah, a little bit faster this time. Come on. Oh, still only 329. Even though I was going heaps fast. It's just, it's just getting the um, getting off that jump with the nose kind of pointing upwards so it catches the air and makes it go a little bit further but oh well i'm gonna end it there thanks for tuning in for that extra little bonus stuff <laughs> uh peace out everyone <laughs>